news from Sydney. Our Space for All exploration team just landed in this world's largest space event. I'm Wule. Hi, Elaine here. Hundreds of space companies are showcasing their latest technologies and innovations at this IAC 2025. Indeed, at this China Space booth, you can find the lunar samples from the far side of the moon, as well as a model of China's Chang'e 6 probe. And over there, a brief introduction of the Chang'e 7 mission, which is expected around 2026, as well as the Chang'e 8 mission, which is expected to be around 2029. They are going to study the polar region of the moon. And that leads us to an even bigger picture, the International Lunar Research Station. This isn't just one country's dream, it's a global endeavor. Now, 17 countries and nearly 70 institutions have joined this mega project. Don't forget, China aims to send its technologies on the moon by 2030. Global scientists and engineers will be working in this International Lunar Research Station in the future. That's right. But what else can we explore? Why not we experience some of the latest technologies right here? Let's go. The world is looking into building lunar bases, but how do we construct sustainable shelters on the moon? Look at this space spider bot. Pleasure to meet you, Dr. Yan. Pleased to meet you, Ken. I was very amazed by your design right here. Can you tell me what's so revolutionary about this robot? The most important thing that you should know about this robot is it was designed for construction here on Earth. But because it uses materials which are already on site or nearby, it makes it perfect for building on other rocky planets too. And this machine can be the first to get out of the lander and it can start building a garage in day one. This is where the material comes out. Once it comes out, as you can see, it's as hard as a brick. Let me try. It is. It's really hard. It can literally be charged with solar. Space tourism is growing fast around the world. Look at this commercial space company. Hello, Mr. Yang. Hi. Uh, can you tell us more about this uh, space tourism vehicle? Yeah, sure. So as the leading commercial operator in China, we are proudly announcing that we'll provide commercial service of our space tourism vehicles by 2028. 2028? That's right. Uh, but how many people can stay in this space tourism vehicle? So the cabin will hold seven people. Seven people? Yes. Uh, but how long can they stay in orbit? So uh, the entire flight will be 10 minutes, but for the crew, they will experience no less than three minutes of weightlessness. So basically during the three minutes, they will be floating around. Is the ticket very expensive? We'll try to make it as affordable as we can be because we aim for a global audience. We hope everyone, if they can get the chance, can go to the outer space. But safety always comes first. Safety first, reliability first. Okay, and we are looking forward for more space tourism vehicles. Okay. Lovely, you're welcome to head into the tunnel. For space lovers who want to have a launch experience, this is your turn. had a wonderful launch experience for a lifetime. Tell me about this vest, it's amazing, right? Yeah, so this is a haptic subwoofer vest. So on you, you've got little tiny speakers that make it so you can feel a rocket launch. We had some astronauts come in here today and tell me it felt exactly like a rocket launch except their feet stayed on the ground. Wow. So I'm wondering why you bring this immersive experience. These vests are a great example of emerging technologies. I grew up in the space shuttle era and we haven't done as much since, so I'm incredibly excited to see the future. It's going to change how we live here on Earth and it's real and I'm so excited for that to happen. All these innovations around us show the space industry is growing faster than ever. True, and space doesn't feel so far away from our daily lives anymore. It's becoming a tangible reality that ordinary people like us can feel involved with. This. The IAC 2025 runs through October 3rd, so stay tuned for more from us. <laughs>